Hundreds of thousands of Americans die from cardiac arrest every year. More lives are being saved thanks to advances in ECMO technology, which keeps oxygenated blood flowing, but it's not available everywhere. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen met two San Diegans who are alive today thanks to the critical treatment. Millions watched as Buffalo Bills' Damar Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest during a football game. Medics rushed to perform CPR. Thankfully, he is okay. But that isn't always the case for everyone. San Diegans Diane and Salam both do not know each other, but they share something in common with Hamlin. I felt like a heavy beating from inside my chest, which was a weird feeling. I have never experienced that before. What? up to the ER and apparently dropped dead at the front door. They both suffered sudden cardiac arrest unexpectedly. They are active people that led healthy lifestyles, so it was a shocking moment when Diane felt subtle chest pains and collapsed at Sharp Memorial's ER doors. Salam, who runs and bikes every day, suddenly felt heavy chest pains, so his son rushed him to the hospital. Thanks to Sharp Memorial's Dr. Arvin Narula and other medical staff, both of their lives were saved. The team of medical professionals rush to give them CPR and use something that they call ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, a form of life support that keeps the blood moving through the body for people who are in cardiac or respiratory failure. Honestly, they're miracles. ECMO has only been widely adapted for usage for adults in the last five years. Only six hospitals in San Diego County have the ability to place patients on ECMO support, according to the National Institute of Health. And and it costs $5,000 per day or more, depending on the hospital. Dr. Narula says they are working on bringing ECMO technology to Chula Vista Hospital soon, since he says patients are dying there due to the lack of access to ECMO machines. Without the stuff we have today, they wouldn't be around. They said I was one of the luckiest one. I tried not to cry, but probably the luckiest girl in the world that day. Oh my God, I owe them my life. Uh, they, the, I was at the right place at the right time. Dr. Narula says CPR keeps people alive, so they are a candidate for this technology. You can easily get CPR certified by visiting the American Heart Association webpage or by signing up for this course on the CPR San Diego website. Oh my. Today, Diane and Salam are meeting for the first time and reuniting with Dr. Narula. After rounds of therapy, they are back to doing their favorite things. Dr. Narula even took Salam to a Lakers game, and Diane got married thanks to this life-saving technology and to those who know how to do CPR. Having, I guess, a second chance, right? Not many people get that. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.